Hello and welcome to Ula Tea Leaf Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Cancer, if Cancer is your solar, lunar, ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, one, two, three. And there's a little piece of hair on there. Okay, let's see what we have. And see what these beautiful tea leaves have to say tonight. All right. And if you can hear that crunching, we have Pudgy in the house here. Having a little snack before he goes and lays down, I suppose. And so... Our card tonight is the Four of Cups, which has to do with luxury, um, abundance, safety, prosperity, affection, security, protective instincts. All of these things fully cancer vibes, right? Okay, so let's go. Um, we have some really, we have a really beautiful little scene here. Sometimes, literally, it amazes me um, the little formations that come about. Like, I feel like the universe is just painting pictures, <laughs> and um, I'm just astounded sometimes. Okay, so here we have a little boat. We have kind of, um, it looks like maybe uh, some kind of tripod or something. And we have a person who is kind of captaining that boat. Uh, we have over here, it looks like a little island with a little tree. We have some kind of bird right here. Uh, this looks like the water, but it also looks like different phases of the moon. Kind of like almost that triple goddess motif, right? So... Uh, we also, I think, possibly, we just went into the new moon tonight. Um, maybe it's in the morning. It's Monday. Uh, Monday night. And I think Tuesday is like when we technically, maybe it's late at night. I don't know. We're right on the cusp of the new moon. So we have big moon energy, right? or lack thereof <laughs> she is hidden tonight so uh what does this mean okay i feel like of course uh you have been working so hard we've been talking about this in our uh in our cancer readings the last couple of months lots of projects uh a lot of um you know forward movement in those projects feeling very aligned open spiritual connected uh i feel like here we have kind of the scene of uh kind of arriving at a place of almost paradise okay um with the tree it looks tall and lush very formed um, not some little twig, not a barren little island. Uh, I feel like, you know, with these moon, the moon um, phases, and even the boat looks like a crescent moon. I feel like, you know, of course, Cancer very aligned with that lunar energy. Um, we have uh, th just this very creative um, ebb and flow, of course, but... Um, just a very creative space right now. Uh, I also think that there is a sense of um, tranquility. Um, I definitely feel like we have some hearts up here, um, just kind of a cascade of them even. And I feel like you are in a very loving place, especially with the family you have created, you have chosen. This could be, um, you know, quite literally, you know, spouse, child, um, what or whatever configuration. Um, 
partner, living with mother, father, whatever. Um, it could be a friends group, people that you um, spend a lot of time with. I mean, whoever you consider your family. Um, and being the cancer that you are, you are wildly protective, okay? And I think that um, these beloved beings in your life, you have found yourself kind of in this configuration of um, your energies shared with them totally being received back. I think there's an, such an equality in the flow of energy here. Um, and what do I mean by that? I feel like the people that you love love you, e you know, equally. I mean, they definitely um, show you that. I think that there's so much loyalty there. Equally, it's protective. I think that, you know, you're... Cancers are people who are very discerning about who they let in their life, who they let kind of stay in their life. Um, so when you get to a point where you feel like somebody or somebody's are um, kind of elevated to that level of family, um, you, there's no kind of going back, right? You really are kind of that ride or die kind of person. Um, now, I think that you will walk away if things are not, you know, well, of course. I think that you protect yourself, protect your peace and all of that. But I think in the situation, you have a lovely, um, a lovely union, um, a, a nice environment. I feel like you are just in this place of, I can just imagine being kind of in um, a little cove, you know, um, in your in your mind's eye, the sun going down, it's all beautiful, the sunset colors, um, being very serene, listening to the sound of the ocean come in and out, and really getting to that place of, um, contentment and rest and feeling like you know you're in your own little zone okay there's not I don't there's not a lot of commotion here this is kind of maybe like a like a place that you go in your mind right in your um in your interior landscape uh to kind of maybe center yourself uh and I feel like it's you have been there um in in that interior space but it also feels like that energy is flowing out into your waking life so all in all just a very zen chill feeling lately okay and i think that this is um you know with this figure standing kind of it reminds me of a, a surveyor Right. If you've ever seen somebody who's like surveying land, um, they have those little tripods and the little, the little thing they look through to um, do their measurements. And I feel like you are kind of in that place as well, where you're kind of looking out over this beautiful life you've created for yourself. You've been working so hard and has been paying off, and. Um, you know, as a, also as a true cancer, there is no rest, right? Um, even when you are taking a small break, you're planning your next moves. So I can see, uh, even in this glorious place, uh, throughout these different cycles of this lunar energy, you're still planning, you're still taking in information, doing your research, deciding, you know, kind of putting that plan down and um, going about your business as you usually do. All right. And now this beautiful, um, it looks like, you know, uh, that cancer or cancer, that Capricorn energy right there. We have kind of that, um, the kind of goat devil symbol wearing the robe um nice and tall posture the little horn there now don't get worried 
this isn't the devil like we think of the devil this is more of that um that capricorn saturn uh energy which i always identify cancer and capricorn as being so close in my mind to each other um although capricorn is maybe a little more business minded maybe a little more um focused on the system of things the order of things cancer a little more um creative um maybe a little more emotional maybe a little more psychic right um but we have this energy coming in to focus. And I think that this is really kind of that tempering, that um, kind of slowing of, um, of movement. Uh, and this is in this, this uh, on the edge here. So this is that emotional psychic space. So I think that there is a sense of um, kind of slowing of the emotions uh kind of being more contemplative definitely reserving your energies and uh there is a big movement towards kind of a psychic glimpse or glance or you know kind of um i don't know just like the eye being uh awoken right and i think that um in this case it is kind of like um, taking in the pieces of what you're seeing, what you're feeling. I feel like there has been, um, when I think of the Capricorn, I kind of get this vision of um, almost like a lunar landscape or like the vast tundra, right? And then there's that bright, bright star illuminating all of that cold, gray or white landscape right and just kind of steadily marching towards that far away thing that illumination that goal that um you know life's work right and so um i think that in this in this cycle for you be things are going well family on point work on point um, feeling very creative, okay? Um, emotions under control, okay? Uh, but um, there's also a sense of that bright star that you are traveling towards. And I think you, it's like this sense of um, being focused on uh, what is my will? You know, what is, what is the underlying thing in my life that keeps me going why am i here why was you know what it what is this um what is this incarnate cycle for 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 you know why am i um in this body <laughs> basically why am i on earth um these kind of more existential spiritual questions and maybe not to like the real abstract but more like you know in this part of my life what is that i want to do um am i an initiate am i you know in some kind of um, spiritual system uh am am i here to create art am i here to heal others am i here to be a teacher you know whatever it is i mean there's so many things that we could be um you know motivated by and every part of our life is a different season Okay, so this can change. Also, it really depends on what archetypes are activated in our life currently. So I think that really ultimately there's um, kind of a, just a reflection, you know, and this makes sense. We've, you know, been in this kind of, uh, in this place before, not too long ago during the cancer season, I remember doing a reading talking about kind of thinking about what is the next year going to bring, um, what kinds of long-term goals do you have? So it makes sense to me. Also, we're getting to the end of this kind of summer season or winter season, depending on where you're at. And we're starting to see the weather, depending on where you're at, of course, um, start to change a bit. Um, I know where I'm at, it was 
in the 60s today i mean in cold i mean rainy and um of course you know next week it's going to be hot again but uh you're we're starting to see those little uh pangs of uh of change coming right so i think that it makes sense that you would be in a kind of um thinking about what's going on uh this is where i like to talk about doing some journaling right kind of writing out some of your ideas about the future about what you'd like to accomplish um doing some of that personal excavation uh, working on getting to those kind of what I like to call original virtues of self. Um, the things that are, you know, uh, most holy and spiritual tenets for you personally. These don't have to be borrowed from other systems. They don't have to be agreed upon. These are things that motivate you. Okay. Um, and I think when we start to figure out what those are for ourselves, then we can really truly understand what is our will, right? What is the thing that is kind of keeping us moving? Um, and, you know, through life, we have a lot of different things. But ultimately, um, a lot of times those are distractions, right? Conditioned things, things that we kind of um, take on from um, our ambient relationship to the collective and so on. Uh, so let's see, what do we have up here? We have a little dolphin or porpoise. I always forget what is the difference. I don't know, but <laughs> um, this one looks like it has its mouth open kind of, and it's right on the rim there. Um, in that kind of spiritual psychic zone and uh the dolphin always for me is a very spiritual very uh psychic intuitive um has alternate at least from our standpoint alternative forms of communication so i would say uh this is a good time to look out for messaging from um, the universe, maybe through dreams, synchronicity, sign symbols, omens, um, just looking for feelings that you're getting, uh, you know, really thinking about your intuition, um, you know, making decisions from uh, the logical place, of course, but I think during these times when we have symbols like this and also it being uh, a water you know, an animal of the waters, which again, very, um, cancer related. Uh, it's a really good time to listen to that interior space. Okay. And the universe seems to be very in touch with you. I think, you know, blessing you, gifting you. And, um, there's just so much room for success and continue building upon whatever it is you've already been working on. Um, I think that this is really going to be a big year for you. Hopefully, you know, um, spiritually, of course. Uh, but I think also financially and just, you know, generally um, material resources. Okay. Now we have a, an E here. Okay. And this one looks you know, like an uppercase E, uh, it looks like it could be a name, something important. Um, maybe you know what that is. If you want to share, let, you know, let us know in the, in the comments there. I love to hear, um, what your relationships are to the numbers and the letters that come up. Um, we also have the illuminating candle. So we have, again, some kind of psychic messaging coming through, some kind of revelation. Um, I think something maybe important. Uh, and let's see. I want to figure out. And this one, although it's not exactly like the solar disk, it really kind of looks like a solar disk. And so I'm going to take it as a solar disk. And in in this all of the things that we have going on it makes sense to me that there would be also that solar energy kind of balancing out um the uh 
the cycles of the moon. I mean, the moon is always very, I think, very prominent for a Cancer. But then when we have that beautiful sun, who is kind of, um, you know, shining, um, shining down in, and bestowing that beautiful presence and um, aligned with this kind of psychic messaging coming through, I think with the success as well. But really too, um, it seems like a lot of uh, energy in general. Um, this is in the spiritual and emotional section. So I think that um, there's, with this relationship that you have with your family, with your base, uh, I feel like uh, you feel fortified in that. I feel like, you know, you have done so much work throughout your life to have healthy relationships. It hasn't always been that way. But now you have worked a lot on yourself, a lot on choosing people to be in your life who are on kind of the same, th you know, they have the same motivation as you do and are doing their own self work. And so being kind of a collective, there is a lot of fortification and um, gives you room to kind of really feel energetically um, full at times, right? When you're not spending all of your energies on your creative work, which does happen. But I think that, um, you know, you just feel very secure and that's so important to you. I think that, um, you know, at times in your life, you've probably thought, I'll just go about this alone. I, you know, can take care of myself. I don't really need anybody else. And yeah, I think that that's totally possible. And um, you would be just fine doing that. But I think that when you get into these situations or configurations of having people you love and trust and who love and trust you and you honor one another, you know, it really, you work together to, uh, for a common goal. And I think that, um, you know, really gives you a lot more time to do more things that you, you want to do with your interior work, um, with your creative work and, um, you know, probably just your work work as well. So, uh, you know, not a bad thing. I feel like everything's kind of coming up cancer in this reading right now. So, um, that's, that's nice to see. Okay. We have, <laughs> this one's hanging off the edge there. Uh, and it looks like almost like an, let's see if we can even get that. Maybe I have to put my hand there. Okay. So it looks like to me, like an hourglass. So we have an hourglass. We have another boat again. We have something that looks like a, maybe a lizard that's just kind of laying there. So I feel like again, this recharging, um, I kind of really do wonder, are you going to be going on some kind of vacation or um, just kind of a reprieve from your normal schedule? Uh, with the lizard, it makes me think of laying in the sun, that beautiful sun disc we saw. Um, kind of, uh, you know, we know that those lizards are very heliocentric. So <laughs> they, um, they really do uh, spend a lot of time out there worshiping the sun. And, um, so maybe getting out into, um, quite literally getting out into the sun when you can, getting a little bit of, um, vitamin D, is it vitamin D or vitamin C? Vitamin D. And, um, wearing your sunscreen, of course. But also with the time, I think just really allowing yourself to enjoy the this time that you're having the ability to, um, kind of take a little pause, take a little break, um, be with your people. Um, you know, I think too often we get so caught up in, um, the, in our success, uh, when things are really going well that, uh, we just kind of get very like a narrow focus and we miss 
some of the um, beautiful things that are happening in life um, because we're just not super present, you know, and uh, that's okay. But when we come to that realization, I think we have to take the opportunity to kind of um, indulge in some of that uh, pleasant <laughs> and some of the pleasant, um, relaxing, loving, uh, hopefully paradise kind of vibes there. Um, yeah. So let's see, we're gonna, we're still doing this new thing that I'm trying with the pulling a card from a a different deck for each cycle. This one is the Wild Bohemian Affirmation Cards. And these ones are really pretty. Um, the paintings on them are gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to go right down the middle. Somewhere in there. Okay. Let's see what we have here. That's so pretty. I'm going to turn it over and it says, I am Seer. Contemplate all of your gifts. Oh, and I don't know how to say that. Sid, he's... If you know how to say that, tell me. <laughs> I'll have to go watch one of those pronunciation things. Um, all of your gifts in Sid, he's... You are more than you know. Okay. I like it. I'm actually... Um, as we sit here, I'm going to look it up and see what... What is that? What does that mean exactly? I don't... Let's see. Meaning. So it says, complete understanding and enlightenment possessed by a Siddha. Okay. So these are extraordinary powers of the soul developed through consistent meditation. Okay, okay. So it's some kind of perfection of um, your consciousness, really. Um, and being a seer, of course. So that's interesting. And the, the Siddha, I know, are um, like, a, a, uh, what is it called? I always mix up ascetic, ascetic, ascetic. <laughs> They're practice. They're religious practitioners. And now, see, I thought they were practitioners of Shiva, but maybe I get all these terms mixed up. I really do. Um, but anyways, so these are uh, yogis, right? And these are people who have refined their um, their skills, and so have you, okay? In your own, uh, with your own um, understanding of that, we all use different jargon, depending on the systems that we follow. Um, and I, you know, as I've talked about, I'm not, I've, everything I've learned, basically have read myself. I did not go to school, well, I went to college for a little bit, but I didn't um, finish and I was going for, uh, I was going for art stuff, so <laughs> I was not uh, learning. I basically, I have read everything, so I don't know how to pronounce a lot of things and just not very good with language. Um, but I do enjoy doing these videos, so I do like to talk. Um, but yeah, so that's a that's a beautiful sentiment. I like doing these little cards. Um, they It really... Um, with that uh, dolphin in there, with all of the, um, with the kind of Capricorn um, goat uh, archetype, I feel like there really is that kind of sense of um, of being in the meditative state, but also not in, in contemplative, but also being the witness, right? Versus uh, being very being in a posture of, uh, you know, priest, priestess, um, hierophant, teacher, um, initiator, any of these kinds of things, right? That it's a not very, it's not necessarily, um, a proactive role. It's more of a passive witness role. And, um, so, uh, I think very, uh, crab related, right? <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I like this reading. I wish, um, I always say this about cancer because I love cancers. I really do. Every, um, every close cancer I've had in my life has been such a wonderful person. And even of course my husband is a cancer. So I am very biased in that way. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like, uh, can I should have been a cancer maybe. I don't know. I, w I want to be, I, <laughs> I've always wanted to be like in my prominent three, which I'm not, I'm a Virgo solar and, um, Aquarius and Capricorn, but, um, yeah. So anyways, I'm going to stop rambling at the end here and say thank you so much for spending this time with me. Um, it is always such an honor to be able to bring these messages to you. If you'd be so kind as to like the video, uh, it helps us get into the algorithm and we know the algorithm decides everything for these channels and how far out what the reach is so any kind of engagement really makes the algorithm happy uh liking the video um watching the readings from the beginning to the end uh sharing the video off on other social medias um watching your all of your placements your solar lunar ascendant slash rising uh venus you can do cross watching um, and of course if you have not subscribed please think about doing that you can hit the little bell it'll let you know when the next videos are coming out um, and if you want to leave a comment i read every single one of them uh, i try to re reply back to all of them within one or two days um, sometimes you know it just time gets away from me we have so many things going on as do you right so you i'm sure you understand and i feel like i have a little bit of a cough coming on i'm like really <laughs> taking the elderberry and the honey and all of that stuff hoping um we can keep it off i'm already thinking about school starting preschool starting soon and um all of the sickies that are going to be coming along my goodness last year we got six so if you've been here on the channel for very long um i think back in like february maybe it was march uh we all got covid and um i was still my husband and i hit shout out to dove and serpentero we were still doing our readings all through our covid experience and um now i think about i'm like oh my gosh i don't know how we did that it was <laughs> but so now we're going back into six season pretty soon and i'm just hoping this year we're a little more uh ready for it we've been taking supplements and stuff and just you know doing our best so anyways i hope everybody stays nice and healthy this next flu season all right so i want to thank you thank you thank you and we will talk again really soon cancer